How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm doing a different format here for you guys. You know, doing it this way, it gives you a better look instead of all the glare and my fingers in the way and um, all the choppiness that you might see in the video. You won't see that because I'll have a screencast recording. So what do you say we continue the top 10 Wednesday here for number 340? We'll start off with Dawn of Steel. Well, in this game you got to press down, you got your little robot drone there. And you have to navigate yourself by touching where you want to go and then dragging the screen. Now you come to other people's bases and you will see that there's here attacking, I'm dying. Get a little closer and I'm going to select this, that, and hit all these. Let's wait right here. It's going to deploy some drones. Let's select this and get all of these. There we go. You will have to hide behind things so that you don't get killed. You'll be able to upgrade your guns get different stuff. Here next we have Avengers Alliance 2. If you're a fan of turn-by-turn -turn based games, right now we're selected on Hawkeye. We can do some special attacks down here. We're going to select that and power him up. And then Captain America can do an attack. And we'll attack the middle guy and attack some. Now we got Hulk here. We're going to go for the middle guy again. There we go. And we're getting shot at. And there's their turns. Still going. There we go. And I like the sound effects when you're playing this game. You're actually hearing like the sound effects from the actual character. Here next we have Dead Target. Alright, so here we have a game. It's not that bad of a graphics. See, you got zombies here. Headshots will do a lot better. Oh. You do have to watch your ammo. They'll be behind you. There'll be bombs that you'll be able to throw. The medic hits. So we got some crawler there. But you can switch your weapons by right here. You go to a pistol. Switch back. There we go. There you go. And then it goes into like a little slow-mo motion when you finish the last guy. It's something epic. Here next we have Drift for Fun. In this game, all you have to do is go left and right, and it's gonna go forward for you by itself, and then you have to drift it. You see, it's a little hard to control. The graphics aren't bad for what it is. I'm going a little psycho there. But don't hit anything like, ugh, I'm not drifting very good right now. And of course, the tracks will change up. Here's like a night scene here. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a simple game. Oh. Here next we have Groove 2. If you're a fan of those Dance Dance Revolution type of games, you're gonna like this. On the tap, you get to hear cool music. Oops, that was bad. Bam. 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 There we go. Bam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, then the scene gets all crazy. You can see things are just starting to pop up. You gotta have good timing skills. Tap, 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 tap. And this is a whole new level, so it's not like I practice. I think it's a fun game because you really get to enjoy music. I'm a fan of these games. This is on normal. Man, and it's holding Slitherio. Now this game is quiet. You don't hear any sound effects, but if you know Algario, huge popular game. And all you have to do is kind of eat these things. You see that big one that's longer than me? You're going to see random people and computers, and then you'll see like dots. And all you have to do is not hit their trail. So instead of being eaten like an Algario, if you just get you know, touched by another one, you get eaten. This one is more, if they hit your, your trail, they will lose. Oh! And that's a perfect example where he just killed me. All you want to do is survive the longest and then ruin everyone's streak. Here next we have Jengris Puzzle. If you're a fan of Tetris and this is like in the Jenga type of form, you can see that it's 3D, you gotta drop down. There's gestures based. You can flip the blocks if you go this way. That's pretty much it. And then you drop and then uh, you drop it there. So you will mess up a lot because you figured that you gotta you know, move it this way and then you realize that it's not gonna fit. In there, so let's drop in there. And whenever it drops, let's actually give that. You can see the next one is coming. I'm gonna drop that. We get that, and then there. So you'll get the hint of it for sure. Let's get rid of that, and they will keep dropping. Here next, we have Power Hover. As right, soon this game, all you have to do is kind of direct your guy here. It's hard to control a somewhat. 
but you gotta collect all these batteries. But the levels are cool. The soundtracks are nice as well. Don't hit anything because, you know, you'll die. To me, it reminds me of like a drone following you through the game. You can keep going forward. Just make sure you time everything right. You know where you're going. Yeah, there we go. And I like the sound effects to it. I like the movement. It's very fluid. Every level, I end up discovering something new. It's not like you're on wheels, so it's hovery. Here next, we have Beat Jumper. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. It first seems a little simple, and I was like, ah, should I review this or not? But I like the music when you're listening to your headphones. And, um, and as you keep getting higher, you're gonna notice all the different obstacles you have to move yourself through, so you get a little boost. So you gotta, oh, and that's how you die. Then we got stuff moving around. We got floaties. Things are still moving around. You don't want to land on those platforms. Exactly. Ah, there we go. I finally lost it. And last but not least, we have Flail Rider. All right, in this game, all you have to do is don't hit any buildings. And all you do is go left or right, but there are little power-ups here. There's also a timer where you want to collect time. There's a timer right there. Pick it up. You add 10 seconds. Come up. Oh! Don't hit any. Don't hit your car with the buildings. The smaller one is technically a little bit better because that means you won't hit... You're not as big to hit the buildings. You can hit the trees or little billboards like that, but don't hit the buildings with your car. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no! It got big. Good game, go try it out for yourself. And there you guys have it. These are my top 10 best games this week. I hope you understand this approach that I'm taking because it looks better. I'm not entirely sure how you guys feel about it, but the glare is not there. It's just a little tad easier for me to edit and also to change up the whole scene with the whole sidebar. QR code, information about the game. I'm not necessarily saying this is how the apps are gonna be, it's just more for the games. But this is just my first trial game with these new settings. I have to find out if it's good enough when I start editing it. It might be like a little loud on the microphone side or the speaker wasn't loud enough or it was too loud. I won't know until I edit this video because I didn't practice ahead of time. I just winged it. And that's how I like to do and test things and get your feedback with what I have. So anyways, thanks again. If you liked it, like it, share this video. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.